Hi everyone. It's Kim from Affordably Crafty and this year I'm going to attempt to do Vlogmas. Um, yeah, we'll talk about that in a second. If you're new here, welcome. My channel is all about teaching you how to stretch your craft dollar and be affordably crafty. Please like, share, and subscribe. Also follow me on Instagram and join my Facebook group where I post about all my steals, deals, and freebies I find in my travels in the crafting world. So, Vlogmas. <clears throat> I'm going to make a really good attempt to do Vlogmas this year, which is kind of saying a lot, because I've tried to do some of these vlog-a-day months before, and it seems like I make it through the first week, and then I peter out and I get upset at myself that I can't finish a goal that I started. But I'm going to have lots of time, hopefully, to vlog, because we are still here in quarantine. For those that haven't been on the channel lately. Um, we have been in quarantine since November 11th. I got COVID first and now my daughter has a positive COVID test. So that means that me, myself and I are staying home to watch the kids. We've been to school since November 10th, so we're getting a little stir crazy. So I'm going to be using some holiday magic to keep these kids entertained and not wanting to kill each other. <laughs> you know how siblings are. <laughs> okay, enough of that. <clears throat> so that is basically what I'm gonna be doing this month. Um, hopefully we'll be decorating the tree in a couple days here. And sorry, my eyes are watering. I don't know why right now. Um, but today for Vlogmas, I am going to be reviewing some hooks, a hook set that I got off Amazon um, that I was intrigued about now, I will link this hook set down below if you are interested. Um, it's not an affiliate link. I just grabbed a couple things on Black Friday because I thought they've been in my like my, my list on Amazon for a while. So, this hook set that I got, I got intrigued by because of the cool scroll design. So, they look like this. Interesting, right? They're in a pastel color and, oh, I'm, I started doing my swatch already. So that's not one in there. Uh, they also come in black, which is interesting. So it's black with the scroll work. And this one comes in the sizes 2.5 millimeters, 3, 3.5, 4, 4.5, 5, 5.5, and 6. <clears throat> so from 2.5 to 6. I generally don't go below 3.5, so those two may not get used. But um, yeah. Let me flip this camera around and I'm going to give you my honest impressions of this hook set. See you in a minute. Okay, so this is the hook set minus the one that I am using currently. Let me um, go in a bit here to show you the first issue. So here's my first problem. I don't know if you can see this, I'll hold it up a little bit. See this number um, three? It's already starting to be rubbed off. So I will open this up and show you a little bit better. Hold on. Okay, so here we have the 2.5 to the six. A um, couple of issues I noticed right away, and this is the Coupe, C-O-O-P-A-Y crochet hook set. Again, I will link that down below. Um, <clears throat> I am like, like, let's pick up the 4.0. It's really hard to read that. It's already starting to rub off. Here's a big issue, ready? I thought that when I saw these online, that from here to here would be the hook, like embedded, and then this would be just flouncy extra doodly-doos here. Doodly-doos. That's not the case. Look. Uh-oh. 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 Ooh, ooh goes this way too look because if there's anything I ever say about a crochet hook it's that I want it to bend when I use it no that is not the truth it's about the last thing I want a crochet hook to do that was a four right in the middle let's pick up the six and see how that is now it definitely feels a little sturdier but super super bendy and it feels like there's only a tiny bit of the hook embedded, like maybe to like here. Yeah, probably to here. 
which that's a problem uh, on several levels. Uh, number one, that's not going to be sturdy. That's probably going to come out. I wouldn't be surprised if it starts turning. Um, I mean, the one plus is it's very light. It's also a very long hook. So if you like that, that'd be good for you. Um, <clears throat> it does have a comfortable grip here. You can see right here how it's indented. So this was comfortable when I used it. However, look, as soon as I put pressure, it just moves everywhere. Even the back moves. Yeah. <clears throat> Let's see if the five's like that. Yep. Gosh, the two. Oh, lordy. Oh, lordy, no. Um, <clears throat> problem. <laughs> Pretty colors, nice scroll work, very long. Um, do I have a regular crochet hook around the summer? Okay, so he has a boy. I'm just grabbing the, so a size H, which is a, H, a 4.5. So here's the boy hook. Let me just put some more light on the situation here. Okay, here's the boy hook, and here's the, um, one I just got the coupe, coupe. So yes, you can clearly see how much longer that is. I mean, that's that's pretty long. This may be the longest crochet hook I own currently now. Um, it has got a Susan Bates type head. Um, <clears throat> and let me put the Susan Bates hook back. So it's really long. I have pretty long hands and it has this sticking out the end. So if you don't like that, uh, yeah, this is not the hook set for you. Also, I noticed that here, can't see it on the yellow as well. Here, you see the line here? It's rubbing on my hand when I'm using it. That may or may not start to bother me in a bigger project. Oh, it's also got it in raised plastic on the back of the size. Okay, so that's not as bad as the fact that this one in the front's rubbing off. I kind of was sucked in by the colors, not the pink, but you know. All right, has anybody here tried these before? Please let me know down below. Um, yeah, these are really pretty. I thought they make good Instagram pictures too. So they may still make good photo props. Maybe I should have gotten the black if that's what I was gonna use it for. Okay, let me pull out my swatch. And I will show you what's going on with that. Oh no, my mantle. I'll just leave those there because they look cool, even though they bend. Has anybody had hooks ever bend that bad before? <laughs> Please let me know down below. <clears throat> so I just grabbed a skein of Premier Just Cotton from Dollar Tree in the color. Garnet. Now, this is something I had gotten a while ago. Um, and this is the 5.5. I use the recommended hook size from the package. Um, I'm making just a Christmas color hand towel. And can I just say challenging does not even begin to tell you how this was. So look. Now, I know that the um, Just Cotton definitely um, splits, but that's not the issue here. The issue here is the fact that the head on this is so dull, so dull, like here, it's so dull that it doesn't want to go through the yarn at times and gets caught up. <clears throat> I could chalk some of that up to the splitting quality of the yarn, but look, if I do this slowly, you're going to see how it's, the hook is bending as I'm using it. Can you guys see that? A hook is bending, which honestly made me drop a whole bunch of loops here on this. It does, sorry, get a little bit more yarn there. <clears throat> um, it doesn't get caught up, but like I said, it doesn't like to go through because the head is so blunt on the hook. And it's just bending like crazy, so it's hard for me. Like, I'm having to extra grip down here on the yarn just because of the amount 
that it's bending. And I'm going to be honest with you, I've only done this much on it. And already my hands are starting to hurt from the way that I have to grip it. This is like not good. Oh, Lord. Yeah, so this is how this looks and works up and whatnot. These coupe hooks. So let's just go over them again. Um, plus, they'll look cool in pictures because of the cool scroll work. Uh, they are light, so if you don't like heavy hooks, those would be good for you. And then the large amount of negatives. The numbers are coming off already. Um, there is a molding point here where they meet, and it's rubbing on my hand, which I hate. Um, it doesn't have a very good hook end, so it's very blunt and difficult to get through the yarn. And then biggest one of all is the bend, this huge bend here. And the fact that only this much, this right here is where the metal part stops. So that tells me that if I try and use anything big, or unconventional or whatnot, this part is going to separate. I can tell you right now from my experience with how I crochet. I tend to be a little rough on my hooks. So yeah, that is my review on the coupe hooks. Um, let me know if you've used these before. Let me know down below. Uh, yeah, because I'm really having to grip this tight and then grip this tight, which is giving me hand cramps, which is no fun, folks. No fun. All right, I'm going to turn this camera back around. And I'll see you in one moment. So that was an interesting review, folks, right? I'm going to have to give these coupe, coupe hooks a 1 out of 10. And the only reason they're getting a 1 is because... They may serve a life purpose of being in my Instagram flat lays. And that's it. And I'm kind of regretting not getting black if that's the case because it would have matched everything. But is what it is. Um, well, I should have said, let me check what price they are on Amazon today. In one second, be right back. So this multicolor set right now on Amazon, today is the 1st of December, is $11.90. And it's on Prime. And then the black is 14 something. I'll link both of them down below. Um, yeah, so again, one of 10 on these hook set, on this hook set. You might see them in some Instagram pictures later. But that's about it, folks. Let me know down below if you've ever had a hook set that's been worse than this. I'd really love to hear about it. Um, or if there's any other hook sets you'd like me to review. Um, yeah. So please like, share, and subscribe so your friends can learn how to be affordably crafty too. Have a creative day, everyone. Bye-bye. Oh, happy Vlogmas. Day one.